Now joined by Hofstra head coach Mo Casera following the team's 61-57 loss to Florida Atlantic. Coach, opening thoughts about today's game? Uh, you know, uh, hard fought game, tough game on the road, uh, you know, against a team that was, uh, you know, really hungry for a home win. Thought our guys really battled, thought we did some fabulous things throughout the game. Uh, wore down a little bit, got tired a little bit. Uh, you know, and ultimately they made a couple plays down the stretch, and, and we didn't. You know, it was a really tight, contested game, and I'm proud of our guys' effort. Greg Gant kind of goes off in the second half. Was there much you could have done with guards getting tired? You know, he's a great player. Uh, they run some good stuff for him. You know, we had a couple plays where we lost them. Uh, you know, one play we actually stole the ball, and, and, and he got it back and hits a three. You know, uh, a couple big transitions where we really had a chance to kind of put the game away, and, and, and they were able to make some big plays. Coach, you talked about on your side, Steven Mejia really only took five minutes all on the bench, and that was due to injury. But he comes back in, he had a team prime in course. What can you say about the team? Well, he's gutted. You know, I mean, his effort's great, his energy's great, you know, his leadership's great. And, you know, he, he plays a lot of minutes and, and competes every play. So, you know, obviously I'm really proud of his effort. And, um, you know, again, uh, we're battling, we're in a lot of games, we just got to find a way to win at the end. Tron getting a little bit frustrated throughout the game? Yeah, you know, they do a good job, and they're going to continue to do a good job in Toronto, frustrate them, and, and, you know, try to bump them and move them around a lot, and ultimately, uh, you know, a tough game for all of us. And Coach, you talked about your post player, Stephen Wonconi, going out and getting started in the beginning of those games. What was the change in the starting lineup, putting Wonconi in? How is that going to help your team? Uh, you know, those guys are pretty interchangeable. You know, uh, Moose actually has been out of practice for a few days uh, with a little bit of a concussion. He, he just got back really fully cleared yesterday, so uh, has had a couple days off. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll keep continue to mix and match those guys and, and uh, you know, try to find the right combinations. Just 12 turnovers today. Like that. Yeah, you know, I, I told our guys at halftime, I said, if we turn the ball over under 10 times, we're going to win. And, you know, I just told them, hey, 12, we're not going to win. You know, it's, it's just one or two turnovers at the end of the game to make a big difference. Now, Coach, moving into CAA play, what are you going to take from this game? Well, you know, I think we take uh, the effort and the energy and the competitiveness, and, you know, we're 0-0 zero zero now. You know, we're 0-0 zero zero, uh, going to CAA play, and, and, you know, we've got a good game at home uh, next Monday. And, uh, just continue to you know, get ready and, and try to kind of clear the slate. We've been in a lot of close, tough games, played in a lot of tough places against some very good teams. Uh, now we go into the league zero and zero, start the new year that way. Does it help to start off at home? Uh, always starts out, you know, always good to be home. Uh, we got two of our three games next week at home. Uh, real challenging week, you know, three games, uh, you know, right away, boom, 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 against some very good teams. So uh, always nice to be home and a quick trip down to Delaware on Wednesday. So we'll be ready. The biggest thing that you think you have to fix before next Monday? Yeah, I just think we have to learn to execute down the stretch. You know, I think we have to learn to play through some fatigue, take care of the ball, um, and just you know eliminate one or two of those critical plays where you know a turnover leads to an easy basket for them, or a turnover leads to a free throw for them, and then you know ultimately I think we'll be in good shape. Thank you, Thanks, coach. Guys.